The movie opens with an unmanned space probe returning from Mars to an international space station. On its way, it encounters an asteroid field, where it gets struck and veers off course. Meanwhile, on the International Space Station, engineer Rory Adams is seen getting ready for a spacewalk. Ekaterina Golovkina, Miranda North, Hugh Derry, Sho Murakami, and David Jordan are among the other crew members on board, and they are planning to retrieve the Mars capsule using a remote-controlled robotic arm. The rest of the crew is watching as it approaches the station. Adam successfully catches the capsule and asks Hugh to take a photo of the event. Hugh is inside the lab, taking soil samples. He revives a dormant cell from the sample and starts his observations under a microscope. The cell starts moving as he confirms that there is life beyond Earth. Ekaterina Golovkina, their mission commander, is seen in contact Earth for an interview with American school children. She gives them a brief tour of the ISS as they ask questions about how they survive in space. At the end of the interview, Hugh asks the kids if they have a name for the creature, and they decide to name it Calvin. The following day, Hugh continued with his observations on Calvin, and the others joined him as they talked about how it had grown. They conclude that the creature's cells are simultaneously all muscle, all brain, and all eye. Later that night, they are all having a conversation and having a good time as Sho Murakami, their system engineer, is on a video call with his wife as she is at a hospital giving birth. They then return to their capsules and sleep for the night. They are soon woken up by alarms going off in the lab. They quickly rush to check as Adams tries to fix the problem. Miranda realizes it was Hugh's mistake, he failed to check if everything was functioning properly before leaving the lab. Calvin lays dormant after the incident as Hugh tries to revive it with a mild electric shock. After a few attempts, Calvin suddenly becomes hostile and grabs tightly onto Hugh's hand, breaking the wand. Hugh tries to trick it with the broken wand to see if the creature can let go of his hand, but his efforts are useless. It began crushing Hugh's fingers as he screamed for help trying to remove his hand from the incubator, passing out in the process. Calvin releases his hand, revealing his broken fingers. While Hugh floats unconscious, Calvin breaks free from the incubator by puncturing a hole in the gloves with the broken wand. It devours the lab rat by absorbing it as it grows bigger. On seeing this, Adams uses the opportunity to dash into the lab to rescue Hugh. However, the creature latches onto Adams' leg as he was trying to escape from the lab, and David Jordan, their crew's medical officer, locks him in the lab in order to contain the creature. Adam asks for suggestions while in the lab, and as he reveals how Calvin is grabbing his leg, Ekaterina advises him to burn it using a lamp, this made the creature release his leg and jump on the wall. Adam is given permission to kill the creature, as Murakami tells him to use the flamethrower to burn it. After all the unsuccessful attempts to kill it, the creature jumps on Adam and enters his mouth, killing him by absorbing his organs from the inside. The creature emerges from Adam's mouth, has grown even bigger than before, and escapes through a fire control vent. Hugh tells them that the organism remained dormant on Mars due to a lack of breathable air. The mission commander contacts Earth and reports the incident that has happened, but communication is cut off shortly due to a communication system failure. She then decides to take a space walk to determine what caused the system to fail. At the transmitter, she realizes that it has overheated. She opens up the cooling vent valve and realizes that it is bone dry. Suddenly Calvin emerges from the valve and grabs Ekaterina's suit as Miranda rushes to the window for a better look at the creature, she notices that it is twisting her leg and tells her to get to the airlock. As she proceeds, the creature ruptures her suit's coolant system, causing a liquid to fill her helmet, which blocks her vision and starts drowning her. David rushes to the airlock in order to help Ekaterina turn the lever. Soon she arrives at the airlock and notices that she can't let the creature back into the station. David tells her not to swallow the liquid that has now filled her helmet because it is toxic. She begins turning the lever in the wrong direction, despite David telling her to turn it the other way. Miranda tells David that she is doing so deliberately. Ekaterina dies from drowning in the liquid and drifts off into space as the creature lets go of her and jumps back on the station. Having lost two of their crew, Hugh tells them to try and keep it together as they think of a plan for how to keep Calvin outside the station. Learning that the creature could enter back into the station through the thrusters, Murakami comes up with an idea to blast it once it tries to get inside. They attempt to blast it off several times but fail as the creature is too smart. Having lost a lot of fuel, the station has now entered a decaying orbit, which will cause the ISS to start burning up in Earth's atmosphere. Out of options, Murakami informs the crew that they need to use the remaining fuel to get back to a safe orbit, but this attempt will allow Calvin to get back into the station. They watched as it enters in the station through the thrusters and started moving the ISS to the safe orbit. The remaining crew members decide to seal themselves inside a module and vent the oxygen in the rest of the station in an attempt to keep Calvin dormant. 
Hugh enters cardiac arrest, and the crew quickly tries to revive him. Miranda notices movement inside Hugh's. Upon opening the zip, they realize it has crept inside his suit and has been feeding off his leg. Hugh couldn't feel it because he was paraplegic. On seeing that it has grown into a large tentacle creature, they run for safety as Murakami gets inside a sleeping capsule and seals himself inside, as Calvin is still chasing after him. Disappointed, it tries to breathe into the pod by cracking it, but it soon lets go. David and Miranda decide to use Hugh's corpse as bait to lure the creature to a module in order to deprive it of oxygen. As they were trying to suffocate the creature, they received a proximity alert warning. David rushed to the window and saw the Soyuz capsule approaching. He confirms that the distress call Ekaterina had sent to Earth had been received and tries to contact the crew on board the capsule but receives no response. Miranda opens up about the protocol she was given, telling David that the capsule was a failsafe plan to push the station into deep space as the Soyuz capsule docks onto the station and immediately starts pushing it into deep space. On hearing the docking, Murakami leaves his pod, thinking that it was a rescue mission. When he arrives, he notices that the hatch is still sealed and tries to open it manually. David and Miranda rushes to stop him from opening the hatch an encounter that causes docking breach as the creature attacks the Soyuz crew. The breach causes the capsule to detach, causing it to collide with the ISS and fall back into decaying orbit, killing Murakami and the Soyuz crew. David and Miranda, being the only survivors on the ISS, realize that they have little oxygen left and that they cannot survive the re-entry, but Calvin could. Inside the module, temperatures begin to drop as David recalls that there are two escape pods on the ISS. He plans to lure the creature into his pod and fly into deep space to prevent it from entering Earth, allowing Miranda to escape to Earth in the other pod. David leaves the module, finding his way to one of the escape pods as Miranda waits for his signal. On his way, he encounters the creature, which immediately jumps on the lamp to keep itself warm. On the other side, Miranda sees that David has arrived in his pod, so she makes her way to the other pod and launches it into space. David manages to trap the creature inside his pod as per the plan and detaches from the ISS, successfully sending his pod into space. Inside, he tries to wrestle the creature away from the controls. One of the pods gets hit by debris from the ISS and is knocked off course as the earthbound pod enters the Earth's atmosphere, performs a controlled re-entry, and lands on the ocean closer to a fishing boat with two Vietnamese fishermen. They fire up their engine and start moving towards the pod. On arrival, it is revealed to be that of David, who is encased in a web-like substance. Meanwhile, Miranda's navigation system malfunctions due to the damage it sustained. She can be heard screaming helplessly as her pod drifts into deep space. In the final scene, David is still alive and attempting to warn the fishermen not to open the hatch as two more fishing boats arrive. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell.